Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Washington Pain Network. Today's topic is the basics of viscosupplementation injections. Viscosupplementation refers to injections with hyaluronic acid. Human joints already contain this material along with the synovial fluid, which provides lubrication and helps reduce the friction between the cartilage surfaces in the joint. In 1997, the FDA approved the use of the viscosupplementation products for the treatment of arthritis of the knee joint, and it's since expanded into other joints. Now, the FDA approval occurred because the material that was used did reduce pain in the clinical trials from degenerative joint disease, which is osteoarthritis. It improved mobility, and it also increased range of motion. The material acts to cushion the joint and also promotes the joint to produce more of its synovial fluid naturally. And that's referred to in layman's terms as the motor oil in the joint. Now, along with the benefits of the cushioning, there are some additional benefits. Uh, there is some theoretical evidence that it can help promote cartilage formation and also stop inflammation, which can be great for someone who has a rheumatoid component to their arthritis. There are various brand names of the hyaluronic acid, such as Synvisc, Orthovisc, Hyalgan, Euflexa. There have been head-to-head -head studies looking at the various brand names, um, and there's really no statistical difference between the outcomes. They're all beneficial. They either come as one, three, or five injection series. Structurally and chemically, they are similar, but they have different manufacturers. The hyaluronic acid that is produced is structurally similar to humans, but it is actually made from rooster combs, believe it or not. One of the largest U.S. studies showed beneficial effects in 80% of patients for over six months. There have been lots of smaller studies showing uh, results all over the board, some with no significant difference versus cortisone, others with higher than 80%. But by and large, they are beneficial. The first approval was for uh, the knee by the FDA. It's great for mild to moderate DJD, excellent for younger patients who are too young for a total knee, such as in their 30s and 40s, even those in the 50s and 60s. It's just when it gets to be severe arthritis, it's not as beneficial. Now, other body parts are showing benefits as well, in the hip, the ankle. Shoulder, there was a recent study that came out looking at treatment of rotator cuff tears for pain relief with hyaluronic acid, and this actually worked extremely well. This was just, just came out in 2016. The bottom line is that the benefits are slightly questionable, but mostly effective, okay? So when you look at all the studies out there, and there are dozens, most show excellent benefits, but some don't show as much. The risks are extremely low. The biggest risk is pseudo-infection, which is seen in a, you know, 1% or something. Um, it looks like it's infected, it might be red and swollen, but after a couple days, that just goes away. It may help considerably for relief and helping patients to avoid surgery, and it's mostly covered by the major insurance companies and Medicare. The top non-operative pain management in Washington is through the Washington Pain Network. The clinics accept over 50 insurances and provide over 25 different treatment options with immense success by the board-certified award-winning doctors. Visit us online today at WashingtonPainNetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 877-877-8556. I'm Dr. David Green with the Washington Pain Network. Your pain stops here.